And that's where we begin tonight at 6 with today's big story. Terrorizing moments on the interstate yesterday afternoon began in Milwaukee County. It started at 7 a.m. Sunday when West Dallas police found a 42-year-old man shot in an apartment. They previously received reports of a man trying to enter apartments in a building on 92nd Street. The victim later died from his injuries and a person of interest reportedly made threats against a member of a West Dallas church. Later in the day, around 3 in the afternoon, a drive-by shooting was reported in Sauk County near the Dells. A woman was shot and taken to the hospital in critical condition. Law enforcement tried to pull over the SUV involved near DeForest and opened fire after the 20-year-old driver from West Dallas got out of the vehicle and refused to drop his gun. We begin our team coverage tonight with new details on yesterday's incidents. NBC 15's Jalisa Irizarry was at today's press conference. Jalisa, what is the latest on this investigation? Well, John and Lee, all the agencies involved say this is still very early in the investigation, but they stress they need the public's help in solving these crimes. We need to speak to you. If you were on the interstate and witnessed the shooting, please call law enforcement in our tips line. A cry for cooperation. Today, police are trying to get more information regarding the drive-by shooting on the interstate near Wisconsin Dells. Police say a 43-year-old man was driving with his 44-year-old wife and two children and attempted to pass a Chevy Blazer yesterday afternoon. When the operator of the Blazer rolled down his window and fired three rounds into the vehicle, the second round entered the front passenger window and struck the neck of that passenger. The woman hit by that bullet remains in very critical condition at UW Hospital. As this victim uh, struggles uh, and that family struggles, our thoughts and prayers are with them. The man nor the children were injured in the incident, but the horrific scene continued on the interstate towards Dane County. Once I saw the gun, it kind of clicked that, oh man, this is something really serious. Christina Robinzine was driving back to La Crosse with her boyfriend when she stumbled upon what she thought was a car crash. I saw the police with their doors open and the police standing outside of their vehicles. And then I also saw a car that looked like it had crashed into the wall. And there was the driver, whoever was in the car, walking across like all of the lanes. And he had a revolver in his right hand, and his other hand was just waving out, you know, but he was walking. So it's not like he was stopped. He was walking towards the officers with their guns drawn and everything. Robin Zion witnessed police arrest the 20 year old suspect allegedly behind the West Dallas homicide, as well as the drive by shooting. Our deputies deployed spike strips to deflate the tires of the blazer and bring that vehicle to a safe stop. After the stop and once confronted by a suspect displaying a handgun, deputies from the Columbia County Sheriff's Office shot and wounded the 20-year-old driver, uh, after which he was taken into custody, rendered aid by all law enforcement who were present, and subsequently transported to a local Madison hospital. Now that suspect remains in the hospital under Dane County Sheriff's Office supervision. There were two other men in the vehicle at the time. The three of them are all brothers now, John and Lee. Those two are being held at the Dane County Jail. The Dane County Sheriff's Office is holding on off on releasing the names of the suspects. Right, Jalisa, Jalisa, thanks. thanks. Uh, we are also learning more about two Columbia County Sheriff's deputies whom officials say were both highly trained within the department. Uh, one of them has been on the force with Columbia County for nine and a half years, the other for four and a half. We continue our team coverage now with NBC 15's Christy Batista, who explains what's in store next for those deputies. Well, John and Lee, whenever there's a shooting that involves an officer, the Wisconsin Professional Police Association does get involved. They work with officers both legally and emotionally. Jim Palmer with the WPPA says they want to make sure they are doing okay because these officers are human and react differently to everything. He says the two officers involved in yesterday's shooting are doing well under the circumstances and adds that luckily none of the officers involved were injured during the incidents. Even though you had a larger police presence, you also had, uh, you know, to some extent, a greater probability that an officer could be hurt, uh, especially with someone who appears to have had a pretty violent uh, last couple days. Uh, and so that, that's something that officers are, are dealing with uh, in addition to everything else. 
Now, the two deputies are on administrative leave, which is standard protocol in an officer involved shooting. All right, so here's a recap of what we know that happened yesterday afternoon throughout multiple counties. A man is dead in West Allis after being shot inside an apartment. A woman is in critical condition after she was shot on the interstate near Wisconsin Dells. And the suspect was shot during a confrontation in Dane County with Columbia County deputies. And that suspect is in the hospital and under police supervision. Now, two other men were arrested and taken to the Dane County Jail. They were not injured. The officers involved in the shooting are on paid leave, which is standard protocol in these situations.